Hi guys and welcome to Better Data Science. In the previous video you learned everything you need to know about GPX data. We covered how to export a Strava route file in GPX format, how to load it with Python and extract the key data points such as latitude, longitude and elevation. Today we'll take the entire story to the next level by exploring how to represent route data visually. We'll start visualizing Strava routes with Matplotlib, but we'll quickly transition to a more specialized library, which is Folium. If you don't have it installed already, it's a simple pip install Folium command from the terminal. As always, if you find this video useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to Better Data Science. It really helps the channel a lot. So without much ado, let's load in our route dataset and start visualizing it. We won't bother with GPX files today as we already have raw data points extracted to a CSV file. To start, we'll have to import a couple of Python libraries. So import volume, import pandas spd, import matplotlib pyplot spLT. We'll change a couple of parameters. Access pine stop equals to false right equals to false and also from ipython display will import display function and now we can load in the raw data set so raw df speed read csv data route df csv route df head so there we have it there are 135 data points available in the data set which is more than enough for representative route visualization let's start with matplotlib and discuss why it isn't a good idea you can visualize latitude and longitude points as a scatter plot with matplotlib longitude on the x-axis and latitude on the y-axis that's quite limiting as you'll only see the route itself without the underlying map. So plt figure, fix size, let's say 14 by 8, and now plt scatter, route the uh, longitude, and route the uh, latitude. Let's also change the color to, let's say, this one, and that's it. It's just a plain scatter plot, as you would imagine. I can't recommend Matplotlib or any other non-specialized visualization package for displaying maps. There are many dedicated solutions, but I found Folium to be the easiest one to work with. Let's see how to get started next. Folium is a Python library used to visualize geodata. It's just a wrapper for Leaflet, which is an open source JavaScript library for plotting interactive maps. Folium has to know a couple of things before it can display a map. These are geolocation or latitude and longitude, zoom level and tiles, which control how the map looks like. We'll also add height and width, just so the map isn't too big. Let's call it route map equals to volume map and location. This is just latitude and longitude. I'll copy paste them just to be extra sure. Zoom start will set it to 13. Tiles, let's start with the default one, which is open street map. With let's say 1024 and height 600, and now display route map. It's just a plain and empty map of Western Zagreb in Croatia, as that's the place of my route. Adding data points to the map is straightforward. You basically have to iterate over the data set and then a circle marker at each latitude and longitude combination. We'll keep the parameters to default. The only thing will change is the circle radius. So I can copy the map code and paste it below. 
and now in between I can iterate over the data set so for every row in row df it rows you could use it with tuples or something more efficient but it's a fairly small data set so it rows is good enough and now volume circle marker at location which is a list of row latitude and row longitude and we'll change the radius to let's say 3 and then we need to add each circle marker to the map itself and that should work so let's run it this is definitely a step in the right direction but I see one problem routes aren't usually represented with circle markers it's a bit problematic since all we have are individual data points we can connect them in a polygon line but doing so requires extracting geolocation into a list of tuples so I can once again copy this code and first let's extract the coordinates it's a tuple x for x in route df and we'll keep the latitude and longitude and convert this subset to numpy let's just see quickly what this actually does so coordinates it's just let it to a distance longitude and it's in the correct data format since this is a list of tuples I'll delete both and now we can delete this iteration part and just simply volume polygon line or polyline for coordinates weight we'll change it to let's say 6 so we get a bit thicker line add to route map and that's all it now actually looks like a route you'd see on applications like Strava I'll now show you how to change the theme or tiles of the map maybe this one is too detailed for you and you want something a bit more minimalistic there are many free options to choose from and I'll show you too let's copy the code from the above cell and modify the tiles parameter So let's first change it to car to db positron. This one fits nicely if you're building a dashboard and you don't want too many colors popping out. You can also go in the opposite direction, which is using a dark theme. I'll copy the code from the above cell and slightly modify it. It's now car to db dark underscore matter it looks a bit strange at first but you could make it work for example changing the polygon line color to white would make it stand out even more you can explore additional tiles by checking the doc string you can do so by volume map question mark and there you have all the available options Everything besides the map box is just plug and play as Megabox requires an API key. We'll stick with the free options for the rest of the series as they are good enough. And that's all I wanted to cover today. Let's wrap things up next and discuss what we'll do in the following video. Today's video was short and to the point. You will learn the basics of working with volume which is all you need to visualize map data. In the following video we'll make things a bit more interesting by calculating the elevation difference and distance between points. You'll also see how to visualize the elevation profile of the route so stay tuned for that. In the meantime please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to Better Data Science. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.